A lot of opinions and still a lot of questions about President Biden's decision to cancel student loan debt for millions of Americans and the long term impact this will have on the nation's finances, on college finances. So we want to talk about some of that. We're joined by Chalkbeat Colorado's Jason Gonzalez now. Uh, good morning, Jason. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So so first off, I think the big question a lot of people are wondering is, will this decision stand? If you feel like you, you, know, you got that $10,000 wiped away, uh, it's not going to feel good if it comes back. Could the decision still be reversed? Um, I, I do expect legal challenges. I think everybody expects mm -hmm. legal challenges at this point. Um, the Biden administration has tried to preempt some of those questions. Um, the rule they're using or, or the act they're using to justify this is the HEROES Act of 2003, mm -hmm. which gives the uh, US Secretary of Ed authority to waive rules relating to student financial aid programs in times of um, war or national emergency. So um, this act was already used to pause student loans. Um, and so their justification is now to use that to cancel. Um, and Biden has a history of, of um, canceling student debt over the, his time in office mm -hmm. to the effect of, a, I believe, about $28 billion at this point. Um, and they've been moving through and just, just making adjustments and, and, and canceling those for some who have been defrauded by private um, higher education um, companies and, and just trying to yeah. provide some relief there. Yeah, we've already seen a lot of that uh, happen. Uh, so in this particular decision, we're seeing 20,000 forgiven for some uh, who went to school on a Pell Grant, 10,000 for other borrowers, again, under a certain income level. But a lot of people wondering, does that really go far enough? There are people who have a lot more student debt than that. Yeah, the, the big question is, um, how do we fix the cost right. of college now? Um, but also, like you mentioned, the high high student loan debt that some of those borrowers have. I've talked to students who have $150,000, $300,000 in debt. And so this is kind of a drop in the bucket for them. Um, and this isn't a, necessarily a case of irresponsibility on those who are taking out a lot of debt. This is just trying to get through school, live, support themselves. Um, you know, it, it, the the thing with student loan debt is it's very nuanced, it's very individual. Yeah. Um, and so everyone's personal journey, everyone's kind of personal struggle with how they deal with the debt after really depends on what kind of situation they, they come into college. So if they're low income, um, you know, they're they're likely to take out so much more debt and students of color especially are, are have almost double with what white students have. Um, black students, I believe, have around $58,000 in, in student loan debt, um, Latino students just a bit lower mm -hmm. than that. So it's it's really individual and it affects um, certain groups of people more than it does others. Yeah, I've thought about that a lot. I mean, there are people who, who get good jobs that uh, have an easier time paying off their student loans and others who go into public service jobs uh, who might get some relief from that, but, uh, but who still have huge loans to pay off and don't make as much money. I guess, ultimately, what can we do to make college more affordable? That's a question a lot of people are asking in wake of this. Yeah, the Biden administration um, said it wants to invest more in historically black colleges and universities. Um, that would go a long way to helping students, uh, all students of color, since many HBCUs now um, serve a really diverse group of students. Um, they also want to put more into Hispanic serving institutions. Um, mm -hmm. but really the cost of college comes down to um, the state level um, in Colorado over the past 25 years or so there's been um, less money available for higher education and, and lawmakers have had to shift money away from higher ed um, into other priorities other areas uh, which has meant that the burden of the cost of college has really fallen on students so um, there are efforts and, and thoughts underway of how do we fix that and how do we um, provide a, a single uh, source of, of revenue, uh, tax revenue for colleges across the state. But that's um, that's not the reality we live yeah. in. Right. I'm curious, Jason, you've reported so much on higher education. What do you see this decision about the loan forgiveness and, and maybe these changes when it comes to financing? You know, if if we do come up with some solution or you know, or if it still remains very expensive to go to college, how do you see higher education evolving into the future? Will we still see people pursuing 
college degrees? Uh, I mean, as far as the pursuit of college degrees right now, I, I mean, it's it, the the faith in the higher education system um, really has never been lower. Hmm. And that's that's a long term um, sort of build up to where we are right now, just because of the pandemic and the um, wages that are out there right now. But um, when we look at, you know, what's the, the, the quickest and easiest way to middle class income um, and um, opportunity for students, it really is higher education. Um, experts across the country whether, really have studied this and that return on investment um, does reap benefits for students. So, um, you know, I, I wish I had a crystal ball to say this is what the future looks like, but we're in a really tough moment right now. Um, and colleges are really trying to think about how to um, communicate that benefit mm -hmm. to students and really get them uh, back into seats because across the nation, we've lost around a million students in the, wow. since the start of the pandemic. Um, Colorado's rebounded a little bit better, but um, especially at some of its larger schools. But community colleges and regional mm -hmm. uh, colleges are still struggling with enrollment right yeah. now. People wary of taking out those loans, um, certainly. So thank you, Jason Gonzalez from Chalkbeat, Colorado. We'll certainly talk about this more with you sometime. Thank you.